moment to really define what I wanted to do in aviation. I felt like I had a sense of duty to give back because I was so fortunate knowing there are girls my age in Afghanistan that are living in a country that's at war. If I'm going to fly around the world, I want to do it for a reason, and that is to promote STEM education to the next generation because it's important, it's exciting. These are careers where the amount of women in the STEM fields is just staggeringly low. If only people could experience aviation through my eyes. When I'm up in the air, I'm a whole different person. That's something that's so magical that I want to share with every woman out there, you know, that these careers exist, that aviation is a possibility. The idea of flying around the world really started uh, about four or five years ago. And at first, it was a challenge. And I quickly realized that I can't do it all. This is gonna be an amazing adventure and I want to incorporate and include as many people on this journey as possible. We have an organization within an organization, if you will, called the Dream Team. It's a group of young people who are extremely dedicated to our mission of inspiring the next generation and helping to show that even as a student, you can get involved in something big. It was a full year after I had got on the team that she was getting ready to launch. And it was just so, it was such a relief because it was just so much anticipation building up. We had to move the launch date a few times due to weather and just, you know, for her safety. By the time we got to the flight in May, everyone was just, we're ready to do this, let's do this. I visited a total of 30 stops, 22 different countries across five continents, just shy of 25,000 nautical miles in a Beechcraft Bonanza. I started off this trip thinking, I'm gonna give it my best shot, but seeing the outcome with the kids after they would see the videos, hear me talk, see the airplane, I could tell it was life-changing. I kind of think it's almost a little bit of an enlightenment for the very first time in our lives, little girls and boys see, you know, oh, look at this amazing airplane. It's so powerful. This woman flying it is so powerful what's different from her than me. And it forces people to question that difference and realize there is none. And then those walls, those limits crumble. The stories were incredible. I cried every photograph they sent me, I was bawling. It was such a unique around the world flight. People fly around the world all the time, but they don't necessarily try to do the outreach events or try to do it on social media the way we did it. And if, if I didn't have this component of outreach and STEM with the next generation, I think I probably would have abandoned the airplane in Halifax and said, you know what, I, I don't want to fly around the world. <laughs> stories, you know, showing the world that the face of STEM and aviation is definitely changing. Our next stage is to really empower people, give scholarships, like open doors. Sally Ride once said, you can't be what you can't see. If more people like Shasta can get out there and spread the word, and again, be that role model, because we really want to let young girls know that their dreams can soar, I just think it'll do nothing but help over time.